What up? Hey, my name's Tyler, and I'm here to tell you something. I wanted to clarify um, the differences in a person from the South's eyes of the different terminologies for a Southern person. I have a lot of YouTube videos, and the big thing I get the two big things I get are one, that somebody's teacher is terrible, they like to rag their teachers online, and two, is that they talk about my accent. Um, this is going to be good for you for life because that way you start off um, the correct way. Whenever people say, oh, you have an accent or you've got an accent, my first thing I always say back is, no, I don't. I talk the way God intended. Everyone else has an accent, which is just a nice way of me kind of brushing whatever you set off because probably you said it in a way where it sounds degrading um and i'm not trying to i'm not bragging i'm not the smartest guy in the room but i worked hard and i got a couple master's degrees so it doesn't feel good to be degraded because of the uh the slur in my voice in the words of matthew mcconaughey in ed tv sometimes you gotta slide on real deep and i don't know why i'm doing this like i'm tucking my thumbs in my pockets he did slide back in ed tv just watch ed tv i'm not very good at quotes um and you're thinking, why are you even talking about this right now? It's because I'm dressed like a, a hipster redneck right now. Um, so that brings me to my first term, redneck. Um, this is reserved for people who wear flannel shirts with homemade sleeveless, okay? The only thing they order is at Chili's and it's ribs. And they tip less than 10%. That is a redneck, okay? That's the most insulting of all the southern people from the south names. Redneck is very insulting. We don't like that, okay? Get her done. We don't say that, okay? So don't, do not, do not, okay? Second term people say is they'll say hillbilly. Hillbilly is reserved for people who are wearing jeans that are cut off um, above the knee and also they're barefoot, okay? Also, the third requirement is their teeth are jacked up. I'm not saying I have the perfect teeth, but not enough to be considered a hillbilly. Hillbilly and meth addict, similar teeth. Okay, so if you're ever curious, like, oh, that person has a decent set of teeth. Let's say it's like 70% complete, not a hillbilly. Okay, and if they're wearing shoes, just throw that out. Okay, hillbilly is not something they want to be called. It's better than redneck because redneck's more like redneck. Hillbilly's like, you hillbilly, like from Wedding Crashers when they use that joke. So it's not as degrading but still not big fans of it. Hillbillies means like you live in the hills, like you're a hill people, like from Justified, like that whole family um, of whatever they're called, they're hillbillies. We don't like hillbillies. The most, um, you could say, the, the top two that I would call somebody um, is, or say to somebody that is not offensive, um, is to say, oh, you're, you got a country accent. That's fine. Country's decent music. I don't listen to it, but I appreciate people that do listen to it because it gives a whole new market, and that's fine. Um, Taylor Swift used to be in country music, so I'm cool with that too. So, uh, country, if you say, oh, you have a country accent or you from the country, that's cool. That makes you think of pretty fields and like like the land that Tim Riggins bought at the end of Friday Night Lights, so I'm cool with that. Um, the other one, this is probably your safest bet. Was, oh, you've got a, a southern accent. Southern is cool, okay? We're okay with Southern. We realize geographically that's a true statement. We're in the Southern part of the United States. It doesn't, we don't affiliate that with, we're from the South, okay? We don't like that. We're not for the Civil War crap that went down. We're not a big fan. I mean, we're not for the Southern side of the Civil War, Northern part, that's cool. But we're not fans of the Southern's involvement in the Civil War. But we're okay now, seeing as how it's about 150 years later, with saying from the South or Southern. The South almost gives that, that, um, that uh, you know, Union versus Confederates type uh, mentality. So we prefer to say Southern. Oh, you got a Southern accent or you're, you're a very southern looking gentleman. Because southern feels like gentleman. It does feel like gentlemen should follow it. Or lady or gentleman. Southern is respectful. Call them southern. Definitely not redneck. Hillbilly's a little better, but refrain. And don't, don't, just don't say redneck. That's mainly super offensive. So I'm not a fan. So, that's my advice to you. Difference between those uh, southern uh, terminology. And, uh, you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with the accent. Alright? It's called a little bit of flair. It's like a, like a non-showing tattoo. Okay? So, that's what I got. Hope you have a good day. If you could subscribe, that'd be cool. And this is a peace sign. You can have it. You can save it for later. P -p -p peace Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com.